The Lord be with you. a minute or two today about the faithfulness of God in our lives. That God is a faithful steward of our lives. Our lives really belong to God. Our li- we are really on loan to God in this life. And But what I've learned is, is that serving God is the best life. That we can serve ourselves or we can serve other things and there will be some benefit to that. But serving God is the best life. It is the life of meaning. It is the life of purpose. It is the way to find your true meaning and purpose in this life. Everyone has a destiny and is called. And what we need to do is find our purpose. At any age, doesn't matter whether you're 8 or 80, God has a purpose for you. Abraham found out very uh, late in life how a purpose could drive his entire existence. 1 Timothy 3 and 1 says this is a faithful saying. And if a man desires the position of a bishop, he desires a a good work. Well, Paul's talking about desire here. And you know, folks, I believe that God puts holy, divine desire in our hearts, that he leads us by this holy desire. So it's important for us to see where God is leading us by what he's drawing us to. I believe that God puts inside folks' hearts to make a difference in business, to make a difference in government, to make a difference in education, to make a difference in all the different spheres of influence in our culture. Now, in this particular verse, he's talking about bishops, but the principle applies to all. It, it, it's talking about service, and all are called to serve. All are called to live for others. You know, that's how true joy comes in life. Joy is J-O-Y, Jesus first, others second, yourself last. And, and that sounds uh, very uh, hard in this culture today, but the fact of the matter is, is is that when we put ourselves last and others first and and seek first the kingdom of God, he brings such joy and such peace and such blessings into our lives that we really end up benefiting more in the long run. God's ways are always the best ways. Hey, folks, I want to tell you that God is faithful. He's a faithful steward of your life. He will not waste your life. If you will commit your way to him and, and trust also in him, he will bring the past marvelous and glorious and wonderful things in your life. Put your faith and trust in him today. Will you do it, friend? I hope you will. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. I know who I have believed and am persuaded that he is a to keep that which I've committed unto Him.